Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to use the node catch and you can find the node, node catch here in the input part and let's check the information about this node so here you can observe that the node helps to catch errors thrown by nodes on the same tab and let's check how it works as we see on the previous videos we learned how to use a node in inject and we are going to inject a number in this case for example 5 and we are going to come here to the function part and we are going to select a function we are going to join those nodes and for example we are going to make a make a conditional like equal to 5 so we can like this if the we can program like this if the if the payload for example is equal to 5 we can make the the payload equal to correct correct okay else if, if the payload if the input if the input is not equal to five we are going to declare that as an error so here you can observe that we can make it like this and MZ. we can program that like that okay uh -huh. and let's be uh, back that to check if it works correctly and we are going to catch an error in the function Okay, so let's deploy it and check the debug. For example, here our function is correct. Why? Because we are injecting a number five. And okay, if the if the input, if the payload input is five, so the function is correct. So there is not there is not an error. So the catch node is not uh, getting anything. But what happens if we change that for two? Okay, let's deploy it. Oh, you see, it's it's catching an error. Let's try it with a number bigger than five. For example, nine. Deploy it. Oh, you see, there is an error here. Okay, let's check if it works as well for strings. For example, we put here ABC, ABC, and we change the, the name, the label, enter here, and we are going to make it because it's string. We need to to express it like this. So let's check if it works. Okay, see the function is correct. We are injecting an, a word called ABC and is equal, of course, to ABC. And what happens if we change here for AB, AB, ABD? And let's deploy it. Oh, you can observe here it's catching, it's catching the error. So this is a, a way you can use the, the catch node to identify errors in any node you have, but a way of, of, the, of uh, put your error, it's like this, for example, you can copy paste this line and you can determine something as an, as an error. Well, is that for it's it's all for this video. See you in the in the next
tutorial that we are going to check the status node. Goodbye.